protester crashes Trump's speech by throwing Russian flags. Trump spanks him with four words. A shocking series of events took place at CPAC as a protester decided to interrupt President Donald Trump's speech. Too bad for him, things would go horribly wrong as he threw Russian flags into the air and that was about the time Trump spanked him with four perfect words. With everything President Trump has to deal with on a daily basis, it must be nice going to a place where he knows that most people love him. Fortunately, that was exactly the case this morning as he ventured out to Maryland in order to take part in the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC. Making a speech this morning, Trump hit on a wide variety of topics that people have been talking about all day. However, there was one little incident that sparked a bit of concern. As it turns out, a deranged leftist slipped through security and managed to disrupt Trump's speech by beginning to yell. Unfortunately, that wasn't all as the loony liberal apparently brought a present along with him. Clearly seen in video footage from the event, the man was quickly ushered out by security but not before he threw a handful of Russian flags into the air. Fortunately, that was about where the excitement ended but Trump wasn't about to let the little punk off so easy. In fact, the president would leave the miscreant with a scorched backside after spanking him with just four perfect words doesn't deserve a mention. Specifically turning to the liberal media, Trump wanted to make it perfectly clear that the interruption was very quick and taken care of without incident. Just for the media, the fake news back there, they took very good care of him. They were very gentle. He was very obnoxious, President Trump said after the distraction was hauled out, as reported by the Daily Caller. It was only one person. So we have thousands of people here. So listen, tomorrow, the headline will be a protesters that disturbed, he continued. It was one person, folks. It doesn't deserve a mention. Doesn't deserve a headline. One person, he was very nice, Trump added. We looked at him, he immediately left, Trump said, making sure the fake news didn't blow things out of proportion. Okay. Showing their support. The crowd erupted in both laughter and applause as Trump drove his point home. He will say something, nobody hears them, Trump continued. And then the crowd will start screaming at him, and then all of a sudden, we stopped, and that's okay. You have to show your spirit, right? You have to show your spirit. Fortunately for this Milrod, his spirit got his butt kicked out of the event, even though he was likely there solely to interrupt Trump. Although he was successful, it was very brief, and he only made himself out to look like a fool in the process. Of course, Trump made sure to squash the incident right then and there. Sadly, these are the measures the president has to take these days, thanks to the liberal media bias. According to CNS News, 90% of network coverage of President Trump is negative. Of course, this report just detailed ABC, CBS, and NBC, but things only get worse the farther left you go with regards to networks like CNN and MSNBC. Too bad for them, he's starting to catch on, and now, he frequently gives them the ribbing they so desperately deserve. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait and see what the headlines are tomorrow, but my guess is Trump squashed every stupid thing they could have said with just a few short lines. Then again, these are the fake news idiots over at CNN that we're talking about so, you never know.